Uh, tonight we're going to be going through all of the stuff that I bought at Kmart. Doesn't really look like that much stuff, but it's $50 worth of elf and stuff. There's a guy mowing the lawn. There's dogs outside. And all of these things are happening. But we're going to go through my haul anyway. I don't even remember what I bought. <laughs> I just remember not getting a cart and then walking through Kmart with two huge handfuls of stuff. Just being like, I should have got a cart. <laughs> the first thing that I got was this uh, True Match foundation. The color that I was wearing was N3. And it was a little bit too dark for my skin tone, so I picked up a new foundation. No idea if it's going to match. The foundation that I have on my face right now is the N3, and it just it's a shade too dark. So I'm um, going with the neutral palette again. What with Classic Ivory. And um, I don't know, fingers crossed. Still trying to find my perfect foundation. The next thing that I bought was the Naked Truth from Wet n Wild. And this little jammer was like... $3.99? $4.99? I think it was the $3.99 one because the $4.99 one had like eight, eight shadow palettes or yeah I'm pretty sure it was either eight or ten bigger shadow palettes so I bought this. I'm really digging this color right here. Actually let's bust this bad boy open and let's see what is that. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. Where's my knife John? I'm gonna go get a knife. BRB. Couldn't find a knife. Next best thing. All right, so let's do this. So we're gonna check out these colors. You have, oh, there's a lot of color fall out here. This is the base color. So we're gonna put that all over the lid. It's gonna get all over my mascara, but normally we wouldn't have mascara on. And keep in mind, I have no shadow on right now. Then we have another color that's going to go over the whole eyelid. I should put my brushes in a place where I can see them. Alright, we're going to put this eyelid color in the crease. This is the color that I've been looking for, is this brown that's a little bit darker than my skin tone. Let's blend this out. Put a little bit more of that eyelid color right in here. I want to keep it in that general area. Let's buff it out. Just a big flat blending brush. Blend those colors out. Bring it up on top of the bone right here. So when you have your eyelid open, you want to be able to still see the shadow up there. If you don't bring the shadow all the way up onto your brow bone, your eye is going to look smaller than it actually is. I'm going to take a little bit of this to find a color and pull that in. Just in the corner, bring it up to the brow bone. Back to the blending brush, buff that out. Back with a little bit more shadow, pulling it up to the brow bone. Back to the blending brush, blend that all out. In this little kit, there's a brow bone, so you want to pull that up right under your eyebrow. And keep in mind, my brows aren't done, I'm just throwing this on because I just opened it. Back with the blending brush, blend that in. Sorry. You can also take, to make your eyes look wider and more awake, you can also take that brow bone color and put it right, right inside the corner of the eye. Let's 
to the other eye real quick. For $3.99, looks pretty nice. Okay, back to the haul. The next thing that I got is this uh, Super Stay 24 Hour Concealer. It's from Maybelline. I got it in the color light. My under eyes are horrible. Like, can you see that? Those are some dark circles under there. So, let's actually try this out too. So what you want to do with this is put it right under the circles and you also you want to make like a triangle in the corner underneath your eye actually let's do one eye and I'll show you I also got this it is from elf it was three dollars and it's their flawless concealer brush it's just soft bristle brush and you just want to blend this Your best bet is to press it into the skin. Now, I don't have a powder to set this, but do the other eye real fast. Coverage doesn't settle into creases or lines, conceals imperfections, flaws, under eye darkness, and circles, and it lasts for 24 hours. Here's hoping. Next product that I got is this blush from e.l.f. It is in the color Tickled Pink. Let's crack this bad boy open. This is the color. It's a bit pretty. Next thing I got were these two products right here. This one is from e.l.f. and it is the eyeliner and shadow stick in smoke and black. And this other product is from Bonnie Bell. And I didn't even know that they still carried this brand, but I guess Kmart does. And it is their eyeliner in basic black. I'm gonna do something having to do with different kinds of eyeliners. So I've been kind of collecting them a little bit. I have the Maybelline Studio that comes with a brush and a little paint pot the Revlon Skinny Wand, the liquid liner. And now I have the Shadow Stick from e.l.f. and I have the Bonnebelle eyeliner that's kinda like, it says that it's like a crown. So I'm gonna put these aside, I'm not gonna open these. I'm gonna save those for the, the other video that I'm gonna do. I walked past the Wet n Wild and I knew I wanted like a darker lipstick but I knew I didn't wanna spend a lot of money on a darker lipstick and then just never wear it. Um, so what I did was I bought two of the cheaper Wet n Wild lipstick colors, and then I also bought two of the Bonnebelle lipstick colors, and they were like four dollars each. And then for all four of those, I bought just a plum colored, I think it's called chestnut uh, lip liner to go with like try to use them for all four. Yeah, and then this lip liner is more of like a brownish color, which will it's totally fine. The first color I got from Wet n Wild is called Black Orchid. I also got the color Dark Wine. The colors from Bonnebelle are Getaway Berry and Bronzed Copper. So I'm just going to do swatches of these, but I really wanted to try this Getaway Berry. So I'm going to put this one on, I'm going to swatch the rest of them. I don't like the lip liner with it, but I do really like the color. The one thing I have to say is that pushing on to the outside, that can be remedied pretty easily. Just throw your lipsticks in the freezer. We do swatches for you of the rest of the four lipsticks. 
Oh, the Wet n Wild definitely has more pigment. Dark Wine from Wet n Wild. The second one in is Black Orchid. Black Orchid from Wet n Wild. Getaway Berry from Bonnebelle. And Bronzed Copper from Bonnebelle. So, like I said, uh, I think that the Wet n Wild has a lot more pigment than the Bonnebelle colors. Um, I like this color. I feel like I would wear this. Try on your eye teeth. Not on my teeth. Uh, anyway, uh, I need to go wash my face and make pasta. I'm hungry. Oh yeah, so that's it. Like this video if you liked it. Uh, subscribe to my channel below if you'd like to see more videos. And comment. And I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye. Ping, 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 ping. That's nice, right? That's nice. Can I just do the whole haul like this? <laughs> Fuck! <coughs> <coughs>